Hello everyone, it's Destiny of Manifest Destiny and today I'm coming at you with a witchy haul video. I'm so excited to do this. Like my last haul video, the one that I did from New Orleans, my spiritual tools haul from New Orleans, go ahead and check that out. If you haven't, um, I'll put the link to that video in the description box. But yeah, that's the last time I really did a haul and to me that wasn't really a haul, it was like a couple items. This is a haul. Um, these are items that I purchased kind of around the end of the summer. Some I just purchased like a big purchase last week. Um, it's budget friendly. It's, they can serve as dual purposes. Most of the things that I buy because you can use them um, magically with intent or you can just use them as what they are intended to be. Okay, let's start here. So I purchased the Rider Waith Tarot deck. How much was this? I don't know, I got it off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box. It was probably no more than, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay any more than $20 for this. I think it was like 13 to $14 on Amazon. I'll just show me what the cards look like. Right now, these are the cards that I'm using just to study tarot. And on the back side, they have like the plaid. I'm just, maybe this is traditional to the right of way um, deck. And then it has like the traditional artwork. And it has the traditional artwork on there. Emperor. I really like this deck because um, the people look yellow rather than the people being beige. Like, and that makes a big difference because then that makes them more um, ambiguous, racially ambiguous. I think that's very important. If you're not gonna um, make the deck diverse, at least make the deck racially ambiguous. So I like this. I got the How to Read Tarot, A Modern Guide by Jessica Wiggin. It's $15.99 in America or the US, and it is $21, $20.99 in Canada. Very thick book, um, I'm just still on the first few pages. Um, Jessica Wiggin, if you don't know who she is, she is the well, Bahati Life. Here, I'll just read the back. She's Jessica Wiggin, also known as Bahati Life here on YouTube and on Instagram, is a professional astrologer and tarot reader with over 20 years of experience. She's best known for her insightful and powerful readings. I've never got a reading from her. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, learn, and you can learn more about her. She has a website, BahadiLife.com, Instagram, Bahati Life, YouTube, Facebook, and she lives in New Orleans. She has a in-person shop in New Orleans, which I've never visited. I've been to New Orleans a few times. It's my favorite place. Um, yeah, so this book. Um, I recommend anyone who is going to study tarot to get some type of guidebook, some type of lesson plan kind of. I thought it would be a really great way for me to learn um, the traditional tarot. Like I have a book that has the same pictures, but I learn really well from her. And I like the way that she thinks. She's a Virgo, so the way she thinks and the way she explains and communicates is just amazing. So yeah, these were kind of like combo purchases. And I ordered this before it was available, so I got it the day it came out. I guess I could go with the other book that I have. Let's see, I got, I tried to keep the receipts together, but that Amazon purchase, that's on the computer, so yeah. I'll just put the where I got it and the amount that it cost under everything that I buy, or that I talk about. So I got the Everyday Wicca book, and I got this from Book Buyers, which is a used bookstore on the Plaza in Charlotte, North Carolina. It is 1306 The Plaza, and this book was $4.95. It is originally, I usually put prices, yeah. Originally it's $10.95, $11. I got it for half the price, $4.95. Um, I'm not cheap, but I'm a thrift, I'm thrifty, I'm a thrifter, and $4.95 for this book, that's a lot. Um, but I had already set the intention for my spiritual journey to follow the will of the year. 
Um, and then I found this book. It talks about spells that you can follow throughout the year. Um, lunar spell work, the will of the year, rainbow magic, magic of incense, dedication, initiations, um, a calendar of the magical year, the magic of verse. So like spoken word, poetry, rapping. Ooh, I can't wait to read that. Maybe I'll get in the studio. And Glossary of the Wiccan Craft. Whoever bought this book, it's like, to me, because I know what a book looks like when you bust that. I know what a book looks like when you bust it open. So I wonder, like, why this book isn't more used than it. It looks like a brand new old book. I think it was written, because I checked the um, date that it was written, because, like, most modern books, like, I'm just like, I don't. I don't know, it's just modern. This was written in 1996, or excuse me. It was written in 1997, 1998. It says, yeah, it was written in 1997. I was seven years old when this book was made. That's why I'm like, why is this book in such good condition? But I know why the universe was saving it for me, for little old me. I have Florida water. I got this from, I call it the Spanish grocery store. I know that's not what it's called. It's called Wow Supermarket, but around my house, it's the Spanish grocery store. Um, I go there to get seven day candles, the ones with like um, specific intentions or angels on it or um, orishas. That's where I go to get those things. I also go there to get Florida water. Yeah, I just use this to help cleanse. I put it in my bath. Um, it's not natural though, so you have to be careful. It's for external use. Um, so if I put it in my bath, it's probably like once a month and it's a very small amount. It's just enough to say that this is in there. And you can get this from www.floridawater.com. It says it on there. And when I make my, or when I use that Florida water, I usually just put it like in a little spray bottle that I get from like a health food store. I just spray it out. And I usually put a black um, tourmaline in the clear quartz because those are like my crystals that I work with that are aligned with me and what I need. So I showed you the, the Florida water that I buy. So this is the Florida water that I made. And I put a, a lot of stuff. I just reused a wine bottle. I like the green ones. And you can see there's like a lot of stuff in there. And the crazy thing is, this smells exactly like this. But this is um, chemicals. This is real shit. From what I see, I think it has like an orange color to it. Very awesome. I'm thinking about starting to make these for people, strictly in Charlotte, I guess, in the surrounding areas, because I don't know much about shipping glass and things with alcohol in it. So if you are, if you're around the Charlotte area and you want one of these, let me know. We can talk business. And then third thing, I'm pretty sure I paid, I don't know, probably like 40 cents less than a dollar because I wouldn't pay anything over a dollar at the thrift store for something like this. But I got two bottles for like potions that I make, hence my Florida water. I think I want to put the Florida water in here so I can see what color it is. Here, I really don't know what I want to put in here. Like I, this is a fucking, excuse my language. This is an amazing bottle. Like I just don't know what I want to put in there, but I know it's going to be amazing. Like look at that top. Pretty. Yeah. So I got these two bottles from Value Village. I'm pretty sure they were both less than 50 cents. Usually like 40 cents for things like this at Value Village. I usually go on half off day, but I know this day it probably wasn't half off day. I was just shopping. I have three little pieces of rose quartz that I got from a little crystal shop. Or I think I might have got it from a smoke shop. Probably a smoke shop. And they're rose quartz. I like to use these in the bathtub, like um, 
gritting around my back because you know it has four points. I'm pretty sure there's a fourth one around here. Don't know where it's at, but right here I have my three rose quartz. And I like to use rose quartz for healing, for love, um, for lunar and Venus or Venetian energy. And I could also use this to put, like I like to put rose quartz in my face wash in my beauty products, um, places where I get ready or beautified. So while I was shopping for my Halloween costume, um, I was getting a pattern. So my best friend who is a fashion designer, follow her on Instagram at the kind of at T H E K I N H the kind of she's going to make my costume. She's a designer. Well, I was at Joann's. I think that's the place, the fast, the Joann's is the fabric craft store that she likes to shop at. I got some Halloween jewelry. And these are charms. I got eight charms. They were originally, I'm pretty sure they were like $10. I got them for half off. So I got two for the price of one. These charms have um, like the moon on there. It kind of reminds me of a tarot card, but it's not a tarot card. So this one has the moon, spider, the black cat. And the black cat has a crescent and a star above his third eye. That's cool. Then it has the Hamsa hand. I think that's what it's called with a skull. Or you could think of it as that someone's receiving hand because it's a left hand palm. And we have a black spider here. Other set has resting witch face, um, a little witch hat. I, ca I put a spell on you. And Book of Spells. I have Himalayan pink salt. So I have this. I usually keep it like in jars. Like this I keep um, on my witchy. Over here in the witchy area for spells and things like that. And then I usually have like one in the kitchen for cooking. And then one in the bathroom for soaking. And like I said, this is 99 cents or a dollar technically. And you get a pound of salt, a pound of pink salt. And this is great for if, um, I know a lot of people use it to cast circles. And then I bought a funnel set, three pieces. I'm gonna use this to transfer my Florida water that I made into a beautiful bottle or into like a spray bottle. That's why when I saw it, I was happy because I was probably gonna purchase one from Walmart that was one size, but this I get multiple sizes, so I have options. I have a 20 lights mini, um, a set, I guess you would call it, a set of mini lights. There's 20 of them, they're five feet long, and the color is purple violet. And I'm very excited about this because it's not ran by battery, it is plug-in, which is good. This I think I'm going to add in my background maybe on YouTube or in the bathroom or maybe in my bedroom. I don't know. I guess I got to see how the lights look when I plug it in. I have a little coffin box that says rest in peace on it. It's a treat box from the Dollar Tree. So like, um, like you know how kids have little parties and it has a mummy on the inside. On the front it says rest in peace. I got this to... I don't know, I wanna try a coffin spell, basically is why I got this, so. I thought I was gonna do a politically driven coffin spell, but I don't think that's where my intent is. So there's, I don't know what I'm gonna put in this coffin. I'm not quite sure yet, but I know I'm gonna get good use out of it. If anything else, I could put it on my um, ancestral altar like a little message box I love having little boxes that I can put messages in or um, put questions intentions that I want to send to my ancestors like I like using this I got 
the Handy Flame Refillable Butane Lighter, and I'm bad, I never refill these. But yeah, this is what I use to light um, candles. Specifically, I like these for candles because of that long nozzle. It gets you down into the glass. I got butterfly stickers because these are one of my spirit animals. Um, and they're like 3D stickers. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Wow, this is so cute. Like I could even just put this on something and save this, like make art with it. But you see, it's like 3D butterflies. And they're not, they're realistic looking butterflies. Like that's why I really liked it. So like I said, you can use certain things for, like I said, I could make art from this. I could actually decorate a candle. I could put it inside of my book of shadows. It's really, multi-purpose but I want to use this to put on candles um, just to add variety and uniqueness to my candle so I got some wall art how amazing look this is scales and there's pretty little flowers and succulents in there but yeah this is the story of my life balance the scales, you know, truth, beauty, art. When I saw this, I was like, oh, you play with me today, Dollar Tree. You want me to spend all my money. That's a dollar and that's how they get you. So I bought it. I'll start with this. This is a chakra, heart chakra candle from Dollar Tree. If I see this, I usually purchase it. It says heart chakra, anahata, anahata, devotion, compassion. And it's a soy blend candle. And um, I will make a video about witchy tips, but this will definitely be on that list. I'll say when you go to the Dollar Tree, just make sure or anywhere that your wick is in the center of the candle. Because if not, it will burn unevenly. And then when you're trying to read or understand that form of divination, you may be thrown off simply because of the quality of the candle that you bought. So um, not the amount, but the, so not the quantity of the candle, but the quality. Did they take their time and make sure that it was made correctly? So I have that heart chakra candle. I like to use this in my bathroom. Um, I like to set it next to my Himalayan sea salt lamp. And um, yeah, I usually dress it. I usually add money drying oils. There's an... There's a spirit that I work with that I like to um, put her oils in here. I usually put rose quartz, like rose quartz. I love using that in my magic. Yeah, and then I just like dress it for devotion, compassion, really for self-love. Whenever I get this, it's for self-love and attraction of abundance, prosperity, and um, green money. So, oh, one more thing. I went into the candles, but I have one more thing before the candles. I got a glass. I don't know in my last video if you heard, but I'm looking for a reusable witchy cup with a straw so I can use it when I'm on here. So, does it matter about my lipstick? I won't mess it up. But I got another wine glass because my blue wine glass is the only one that I have. Um, I had a green one, but it broke. So, And I'm like the only person who drinks wine in the house. So, yeah. So, I got a cup. Of course, they had all of their... Halloween items out. It says, let's get wicked. And then there's spider and a web. And there's a skeleton hand holding a cup of red wine. So I was like, oh yeah, that's my cup. I need that. After that, I got some candles. Um, this one, I'll show you. This is a red candle that I got like maybe a couple weeks ago. And then I went back and this was the red candle that they had. And I wouldn't have gotten it because like who, I don't need two red candles. Like I like to have just like what I need. And then if I need something, I go back out. If I do stock up on anything, I'll stock up on white candles or little um, like tea lights or 
like the birthday candles. I think they're called chime candles, but whatever. I got this because it's not the same color red. To me, this is pink. This is um, more feminine, while this is more masculine and solar. Look at this red one. You can see where that uh, wick is. Not a good position for a wick. Look at this one. I think it's like directly in the center, so very, very good position. But if you look at the bottom, the position of it is not in the center, but this one, is more in the center but up here like you get what I'm saying it's just check your candles um, yeah I got a green one red for power sex um, sex magic passion leadership like very masculine external worldly things with that I also could use the red to connect with my ancestors, but usually I like to use a, a white candle. Then I have green. Um, I have this for, of course, money, magic, um, abundance. Also, this is great, like I said, for the heart chakra and connecting to the earth. Um, and connecting. When you connect to the earth, who do you connect with? You connect with your ancestors. And then I have black candles. I got two of these because they never really have black candles. Like all of these colors are seasonal. So I would say when you see them, if you use these a lot in your work for yourself or for others, stock up on them. Yeah, but I got black, of course, for protection, for um, banishing. Wow. So just to finish this out, the last three items are candles. I have some taper candles and they are like a rose gold copper color. And I've never seen these before, at least not in the Dollar Tree. So I got these. I like to use these in ritual um, offerings. With the copper, I imagine it's going to be very, like I'm probably gonna use this with divination with attracting money and with like astrology that's what this puts me in the mindset of and then i got some party candles i think they're called chime candles i don't remember i'm not sure but yeah they're just little birthday candles that you blow out and i hope the color picks up but they are like a silvery white color and for these I want to use these for beauty um, I like to use these size candles for meditation because they burn out quickly um, like if you meditate with this candle that's cool but you might be sitting there for a while or doing whatever you're setting your attention on for a pretty long while if you like to wait for your candles to burn out um, usually I don't really sit around and wait for my candles to burn out unless they are a tea light or they're like small like this like this is what I used to meditate or um, set the intention for the day or get in tune with the energy of the day. These are going to be really great for helping me to meditate and get in touch with spirit, with my higher self, with the universe. And lastly, I have unscented tea light candles. Um, how many? 16 in a pack. With these, I'm going to be using them to just um, make dressed candles, but in a smaller size for quicker portable um, rituals and spells. Um, yeah, so that is my haul, I believe. I think I showed you everything. Any questions um, that you have about anything that you saw in the video, go ahead and ask me below. But if you wanna see how I use these tools, items um, in my everyday life, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at manifestbydestiny. I'll put it right here so you can see. 
Again, it's Destiny of Manifest Destiny. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting me and my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below on which item you enjoyed or that you're interested in or that you use in your practice. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new content. And there goes that YouTube spiel. Bye, you guys.